Hello and welcome to Paul's Racing Channel and to the Ultimate Racing League, sponsored by UpshiftStore.co.uk and Hambridge Transport. So we're here at Catalunya, Barcelona, for round five, the penultimate round of our Super Formula Championship from the Ultimate Racing League. So let's get straight to the grid and get this uh, this race going. So pole position is Wadru with Too Fast in second, Dyson in third, Thomas fourth, Paul in fifth, Ginger in sixth, Roger seventh, Chuck in eighth, Unforgiven ninth, Molson tenth, DJ in eleventh, Dan Bailey in twelfth, and Jim Bob in thirteen. So that's your grid. This is the race. 38 laps round this circuit. As Wardrew revs her up, and away we go. Good start by everybody. Paul with a cracking start by the looks of it. All off to a good start though. Paul having a look, diving down the inside of Dyson. Too fast, takes up that lead though. Into the turn one, does he? He does, yeah. Wardrew's there in second, Paul in third. So too fast then. Coming man, this, this right hander. Just pulling away already from this group who's already fighting each other and Paul's up there. No, he isn't. He's dropping down to fourth. So Thomas made his way up in the inside. Paul's on the outside. Or drew back to fourth then. So good move from Thomas getting up there. The inside of Paul's fighting back up the inside here. Going to look for second place. No, doesn't quite make it. Thomas keeps the hammer down. Keeps it on the outside. So Thomas in his second. Paul following him though in third place. Wadrew in fourth. Thomas knows he don't want to let too fast get away too early in the proceedings. So they come around this sort of tricky section now. So there's a sweeping right hander, but it kind of goes on for a little bit forever. But then you just uh, get to this horrible chicane section now with high curbs. Try and sort of float it through there if you can. All nicely through there, I believe. So Thomas uh, second, Paul third, Audrey fourth. We've got Dyson fifth as they scream across the start finish line to start lap two. Chuck in sixth. With Rodders in seventh and DJ has got himself up in their eighth. Uh, Rodders now having a look at the back of Chuck. Inside, not quite. Little gap was there, but I just couldn't quite get up there far enough. DJ in eighth, and then I believe it's Ginger in ninth. It is. Or well, DJ having to look up the inside of Rodders here, but it's going to be on the outside if he does make it. No, tries to switch it back to the inside. No, it doesn't get that either. So Rodders in, in seventh. DJ eighth. Ginger ninth. We've got Unforgiven in tenth. Not being his championship this time round, is it? But 10 for him at the moment. And then Jim Bob in 11th, who's got a penalty there. Closely being shattered by Molson, and in fact, goes past him now, Molson to 11th, because he's letting off that uh, penalty is Jim Bob, but Dan didn't quite get up there, so Dan's stuck behind. Oh no, hang on, the two teammates are. No, he's still there in 13th, Dan, so. As they were at the back there. So uh, let's go back and have a look at the front just to see if uh, that gap has been reined in a little bit. Not really. Thomas is slowly getting onto the back too fast into turn one, but still a reasonable gap there. So an excellent start by too fast is on the softs, the racing soft here for this first stint, as you know by now. There'll be two stops, three compounds of tyres that have got to be run in this uh, hour long race, pretty much, or 38 laps, I should say, really. It's not a timed race, it's a, a lap race, so 38 laps around here, so too fast. Looking comfortable there with Thomas. In second, it's just starting to pull a gap on Paul in third, but it is these three at the moment who are just getting away from the rest 
Only three laps in, of course, but we've got Wadru there in fourth, Dyson fifth, Chuck in sixth. Wadru on the brakes. Makes up quite a lot of time there on Paul, actually, on the brakes, which can be done there, obviously. It's the slowest corner on the track, other than the, the chicane, I would have thought. Uh, Wadru there, then Dyson in fifth. up here with just getting off a penalty actually I didn't see what it was maybe half a second but anyway he's got rid of that coming into the final bend so they head across the start and finish once more to start lap four Rodders closing in to the back of Chuck now uh, Kenny Rodders getting down here and turn one thinks about it has a look at it think he's gonna get there he does Chuck gives him plenty of room he said you know what you have it Clearly, you're a bit quicker than me. So, super sauce for Rodders. Gets himself into sick. But, oh, module runs wide. And actually, Dyson gets through. So, was that a clean pass? Or was he forced out there? I'm not sure. Missed that. But, Modru back to fifth then. So, now, he's under pressure from Rodders. In sixth, who's really putting it on now. Can Rodders get himself up to fifth place? Chuck also in the mix here. So, little battle here for fifth, sixth, and seventh. But yeah, there's a Audrey back to fifth then. Dyson through to fourth. So I don't know whether that was a, an error by Audrey. Was it a clean pass by Dyson or was it a forceful one? I'd like to think it was a, a clean pass, but uh, well, we never know because I didn't see it, did I? But the fact of the matter is, fourth for Dyson, but there's Audrey closing back in again. Up at the back of Dyson. We're all coming with him now, aren't they, Rodders? Chuck runs a little bit wide again, does Wadru. It's okay though. But Wadru, Rodders really piling on the pressure behind Wadru here. Wadru also on the super softs. So he's just doing a little bit of fuel saving, maybe. Because Wad Rodders is attacking him now. And he does go past him with ease. So I think Wadru is. Oh, and his teammate gives him a little nudge. So what's happened here is, is he, he must be fuel saving. Well, anyway, Rod is through to fifth place. Chuck now behind his teammate in seventh. With DJ in eighth. So as I say, this is the penultimate round. One final round left of this championship. Been a cracking championship too. With the Red Bull ring in Austria for the sixth and final round. Obviously, be covering that on this uh, channel. And then we've got Ginger in ninth. Oh, runs wide there, Ginger. Allows you to run a little bit wide there. That may be too wide, though. He might get a penalty for that. There, there we go. Gets all his wheels across. The runoff area, and that's uh, called him for a penalty there. Just looked a bit wide, didn't it? But anyway, he's getting that off. Got no one behind him in real pressure at the moment, so shouldn't be any problem getting these with the chicane anyway. Easily get it off here. It's the best place to get it off, really. And then Unforgiven in 10th. Just not really, he's always been having quite quiet races, isn't he? Over the last rounds and throughout the championship, not really been in the heat of many battles, but you know, he's 10th place, so that's, that's okay, that's fine. Molson in 11th now, just uh, just getting on his own a little bit now. He's trying to get onto the back of Unforgiven, but he's a little bit up the road in front of him now at the moment. And then we've got Dan, who did get past his teammate then, Jim Bob in 13th, but Dan in 12th. And uh, Jim Bob a long way back, so Jim Bob's obviously had a major, major problem. Let's just have a look at him, because there he is. He's a long way back behind Dan, so something's happened now, clearly. Now look, we've got to change the lead, though. Just look to the tower, and Thomas has got through, so there you go. Thomas makes it into the lead and already clearing off by quite some margin over too fast and something too fast looks to be under pressure now from Paul in third so too fast does he did he go off too quick has he burnt those tyres out too quickly 
or is he just doing a little bit of fuel saving himself now? Or whatever it is, whatever it is, he's down to second place. So start lap seven. Takes that very wide line, gives him that sweeping into turn into the right hand at turn one. So just opens it up nicely by going wide like that. So Paul in third, sticking with him. Oh, runs a bit wide there though. So lose a bit of time off too fast there, but hasn't got any immediate danger behind him, although Dyson is lurking around not far behind, there he is. So actually Dyson looking pretty strong now in fourth place. Could be attacking Paul and the rest of them soon. They look pretty good there. Dyson then. Well, these top four really pulling away from Rodders in fifth for that gap there. Rodders having a good race though, Rodders, with Wadru still behind him in sixth. Unusual to see Wadru down that far. I mean, that's far for him. Anyone else, anybody else, sixth place would be good, but for Wadru, our alien in the group is. Uh, Sixth place is unusual. It's probably the first time I've ever seen the number six above his head, actually. But uh, anyway, he is there. He's obviously just uh, taking his time. Knows exactly what he's doing, I'm sure. Chuck in seventh, his teammate. Just going with his teammate, Wadru. There's a few little gaps now appearing in the field all kind of getting a little bit spread out here. So Chuck in seventh and then quite a big gap back to DJ who's being hounded now by Unforgiven. Unforgiven putting a bit of pressure on. Unforgiven to ninth, so did make a place up anyway. Got past Ginger, because Ginger's dropped back down to 10th. So Unforgiven is on the march through this field. His next target is DJ. Runs a bit wide there, Unforgiven just gets his left and wheels on the uh, gravel. They've got a few more laps left for these guys before they change. But just as I say, that DJ's in, so he's our first mover after, what, only nine laps or eight laps? or well, nine laps, really, I suppose you call it. So coming in quite early is uh, DJ. Ginger in 9th, Molson in 10th, Dan Bailey in 11th. Jim Bob still in 12th. Ginger trying to close down Unforgiven. Let's have a look at our front guys then, the leaders, and Thomas still there in front, of course. And uh, he certainly is pulling away. He really is going. He's on the softs as well, so actually he's too fast. So the two, second and first, third, sorry, first and second place drivers, I should say, both on the soft compound for his first stint. And they're working a treat at the moment, it would seem. It's almost then around the final bend, start lap 10. Too fast. Second. Dyson in third. It's actually got past Paul now. So Dyson has got up to third. So I'm wondering whether Paul's tyres are going off now or whether he's fuel saving. A bit late to be fuel saving though, but maybe his tyres are just going off. Dyson's clearly are not, or the 
car's better with the tyres the way they are at the moment, so a third for him anyway. Paul's still in fourth, trying to stick with him. Tyres don't look too bad, they look about the same as Dyson's actually, so maybe it's just feeling it a little bit better, Dyson. Oh, Paul gets a penalty. He looked like he did run a bit wide there, so he'll get that off in this next section. Won't lose too much, he's uh, not got anybody behind him. There he goes, that's off. And then Rodders in fifth with Wardrew still in sixth, unbelievably, with Chuck in seventh. Unforgiven has got through, got past and into eighth place. So Unforgiven is making his way through the field. Rodders though, over the line then, start lap 11. And then the Cannon twins. Sixth and seventh. This truck just still sticking with Wadro at the minute. go forward a little bit because it looks like Wadru's just picking up the pace a bit, it's just catching on the back of Rodders now. Looks like he's going to be making that move anytime soon and as they come round this final section now through the right-handers and then onto the chicane going to get him down the start or finish for sure and put some power on it's going to get into the slip maybe a bit of DRS as well and this is going to be the move I fancy and it's going to pull out at any point or maybe not I thought that was a dead cert then that it was going to happen but he, no, he decided against it did Wardrew well, stays in sixth place Maybe he's just going to save a bit of fuel by sitting behind Rodders, who knows, but he's in sixth anyway. He's unforgiven in eighth. So closely, slowly getting his way through, but he's kind of on his own now. Got no one in front of him, no one behind him. So becoming a bit isolated there. Ginger in ninth. Again, no one really around him either. It's all a bit spaced out here at the back. Molson, 10th. And then DJ in 11th after his stop. And he's come out onto the mediums. Dan Bailey's in, so Dan's come in. And then Jim Bob then takes up that 12th place. Dan Bailey in 13th, but He's in his stop at the moment. Let's go to the leaders and just see if any of those have decided it's time to come in. Well, no, they're all going for another lap. So lap 13 then, Thomas still in front. Too fast in second. Dyson third, they're actually catching too fast, it would seem. Paul's there as well, so they're going, he's free. Second, third, fourth place. Closing up a little bit. Not much left of these tyres though, so they're going to be closing up and then going in, I would reckon. We've got a couple more laps out of that fuel, I would have thought. We'll see. So maybe 
Maybe we will get a couple more laps out of them. Thomas obviously still out in front with two fast. In second, and actually, to see someone near Thomas, but I think it was a back marker, must have been Dan. Yeah, Thomas, yeah, it was Dan, so obviously he's just come out of the pit box, and Thomas has already lapped him. So our leader then, he's not going in yet, is he? Staying out for another lap. See if what Too Fast does, is he coming in? No, none of the top four are in. So Too Fast second, still. Dyson third, Paul fourth. Over a third of the way through this race now, and I think Roger is attacking Rodders. He is. So, time for Wadru to make his move up to fifth place. Good move, clean move, plenty of space given by Rodders. Excellent driving. Just like that. Oh, Rodders still not having it though, is he? He wants it back, but looking strong is Rodders today. So now he's the fill in in the cannon sandwich. As he comes around the right hand up, then onto this tight left hand up. Second gear corner. But Rodders fancies it, he fancies sticking with Wadru, but Wadru just slowly increasing the pace, getting, him, getting himself away from these two. Chucking seventh, who's now going to be attacking Rodders. Rodders a little bit. Unusual line now. He's going to be putting himself under attack from Chuck. Has Chuck got there? No. We well, thought about it about two or three times there, Chuck, but I didn't fancy it in the end. He's got to be going in now. Chuck will be. So we'll just stick with Chuck and see. Looks like all the others are all. Well, I was going to say they're all staying out, but they're not actually. Too fast has come in. Paul's staying out, so. Uh, Chuck's staying out as well, so Dyson's in, Rodders is in, Too Fast is in, so that puts Paul back up to second place, or up to second place I should say. So he's going to get another lap out of his tyres and his fuel. Actually he's got a quite a nice little gap now between himself and Wadru, but now yeah, Unforgiven's in as well. So most of them are diving in here at lap 15. They pull second, Wadru in third. And he's certainly been fuel saving, hasn't he? Look at the fuel he's got. So he's going to be getting that second place off of Paul for sure. Because Paul hasn't got as much fuel as that left. I would fancy that Paul's going to be in this lap. I mean, Paul being myself, I don't even kind of remember what lap I came in, in fairness. But looking at the fuel situation, and with my gauge flashing, it uh, certainly looks like it's time to come in. And it doesn't look like Wadru is going to, so Thomas is just coming round, or is he? Yeah, he is in. So leader's in, Thomas is in. I think Paul's going to be coming in as well. Yeah, dives in, so definitely in there. I don't think Wadru will be. No, he goes past, didn't think he would be. Wadru then, he's going to take up the lead. There he goes. Goes past Thomas and Paul, whilst they're stationary in the box. So now look at that gap that Wadru's got. Chucks in too, and this could be... I know he's got to come in, but... If he can get himself a lovely, healthy lead before these boys come out. And they're nowhere near coming out at the moment, and he's going to be some way ahead, is Wadru. So, as he played a blinder here, well, time will tell, and the chequered flag will tell when we get to it. Too fast has come out or come back up into second place. So, there's the gap, it's a huge gap to Wadru. Back to Too Fast is actually third place. Thomas got out in front of him, so sorry. Two, uh, Thomas is second. So, he dropped that spot to Wadru, but Wadru hasn't stopped, does he? But there's still a big gap that Wadru's got. Is it big enough? To stop Thomas going past, can Thomas bridge that gap? Well, we're going to find out, aren't we? 
and we're going to find out at the end of this lap, I think, because I reckon Audrey could be in. And he's about at that point now, so keep your eye on that tower on the left hand side of your screen. Does Audrey come in? No, he's not, so he is sticking out for another lap, so he's going to try and get one more flyer in to get an even bigger gap for, away from Thomas. So Thomas second then, too fast third. Too fast is going with Thomas, not that far behind is he? And then we've got Paul, Paul in fourth. He's come in and obviously come out, but he's under severe pressure now from both Dyson and DJ. He managed to stick with that fourth place, but he can't be slowing or making any mistakes because these boys are right up behind him. Oh, a bit of a squiggle from Dyson through the chicane, held it well. What's happened to DJ? He's gone back in, so he's already in for his... Oh, this be his second stop, won't it? With 16 laps, so he's going to have one more stop. He's going to have to get well over 16 laps, more than that, in order to finish this, unless he goes in for a splash and dash at the end, but he can't change any more tyres. This is his... going to be his third compound, unless he is just coming in for fuel without the tyres. That could be a possibility. We'll have to wait and see. So it's DJ there, and then we got Ginger, who's going past him now into 10th. Who's that coming out? I think that might be DJ coming out actually. Yeah, he does, just comes out there. He is, so it was just a, a fuel, bit of fuel going in, but I'm not sure you could do that. I think the fuel. I think if to get a splash and a dash, you can only use it at the end as an emergency if you needed to, not halfway through the race. I might be wrong. The stewards will be able to answer that and the rule books, but uh, my understanding was that you could go for a splash and dash, but it had to be as an emergency at the end. But anyway, the fact of the matter is he's in 10th. Wadru has now come in, so Wadru's in. So, where did that put Wadru? Well, he's in third place, just coming out now, so he's been in, I should say. Coming out now in fifth place. So he drops in behind Paul, who's actually been taken by Dyson. There he is, Dyson up to third now then. So, did look like Dyson was getting in, wasn't he? He's managed to get that pass done, gets himself to third place. Dyson, so it's Thomas, too fast. And then Dyson in third, Paul fourth. Paul's going with him. And then we've got Wadru, who's come out in fifth. Squiggle from Dyson. Gets away with it though. So Paul in fourth. Oh, cuts the corner, does Dyson. Bit of dirt being kicked up there. Should be okay, shouldn't get a penalty for that, but you will get one for that, and there it is, and that actually might have been for where we kicked up the dirt. So he's got a penalty there. This could be Paul's opportunity, he's not going to make it there though, I don't think. Oh, and he could do it, they both have a bit of a moment with the throttle. And as they head round here, there he goes, this is Paul's opportunity. No, he still hasn't done it, no, great. Been quite open up enough there for Paul to get it through, didn't want to chance it. So he sticks right behind, right into the tail of Dyson. We've got Wadru in fifth. Again, squiggle there. Everyone's having a bit of a moment through that chicane. Just the nature of the corner. So fifth for Wadru. Uh, As they start lap 19, so we're bang on halfway through this race now. And we've got Rodders still in sixth, having another, or still a good race, is Rodders. And then a huge gap, the, the length of the Start or finish back to Chuck. Everyone pretty much on the mediums here on their second stint. Jim Bob in. So Jim Bob's come in. I think you can make the tyres last quite a while and the fuel, but there's a lot of save, fuel saving has got to be done. So maybe DJ's got that in mind, but we'll see. Unforgiven in eighth still. So a better race for Unforgiven, but still alone, on his own. 
passing uh, he onto the back of Chuck at the moment. He's got absolutely no one behind him. Not immediately anyway. You've got Ginger, but he's under attack from DJ in ninth and tenth place. There's a little battle here. But DJ then trying to get onto the back of Ginger to make that pass, but not close enough yet. I've got Molson in eleventh. Been a quiet race for Molson, not really been involved in anything because he is just going to see this one out. A bit like the Unforgiven and the others really around this sort of area of the field, all kind of a little bit isolated, a bit on their own. Not really much going on, obviously we've got the, uh, the Ginger DJ battle going, but other than that, Dan in 12th. Again on his own a little bit, bit of a lock up from Dan through the chicane. Don't want to run wide there, get you a penalty, but that's fine. And then we've got Jim Bob, his teammate in 13th. But I'm going to go back to that Ginger and DJ battle just to see how it's going. Well, that's not a battle anymore. Someone's had it, or G DJ must have had a bit of a moment somewhere because he's no longer up the back of Ginger. Unless Ginger's been using his DRS a bit, but it doesn't look like he's used much of it. So I think DJ must have had a bit of a moment somewhere because he's uh, off the back of him now. So we've got a new leader though, too fast. He's made it. He's living up to his name at the moment, isn't he? So into the lead goes too fast as they come through the final chicane onto the start and finish with Thomas behind him. So as Thomas slowed down, is he doing a bit of fuel saving? Has he got something else in mind, strategy wise, or whatever it is coming through, start lap. 21, 